Christmas Tales, story time brought to you by PragerU Kids. I'm Jill, and today I'm sharing an incredible story from the best-selling book of all time, the Bible! Do you know which Bible story I'm about to read, Otto? <laughs> I take that as a yes. <laughs> yes, you're very funny, Otto. Very funny. <laughs> Let's read Daniel and the Lions. Once upon a time, a very long time ago, there was a king named Darius who ruled the Medes and Persian people. King Darius needed help governing, so he chose 120 princes and three presidents to assist him with leading his kingdom. The first president he chose was a wise and faithful man named Daniel. Every day, three times a day, Daniel prayed to God by his window, opened toward Jerusalem. King Darius trusted and respected Daniel, but others felt differently. The other presidents and princes were jealous of Daniel. They did not like the way the king favored him. Day and night, they all watched Daniel carefully to try to catch him in wrongdoing so they could report it to the king. To the president's and prince's disappointment, Daniel never did anything wrong. The only way we can find fault with Daniel is the way he obeys the law of his God, the jealous men declared. They then plotted a sneaky plan against Daniel and visited the king. King Darius, live forever, they cried in joyous exultation. King Darius beamed with pride. He loved it when his people honored him. One of the jealous men continued, Every president, prince, governor, counselor, and captain have met, dear king, and have decided on a law you should make. For the next 30 days, every person in the kingdom must only make requests to you. Should anyone pray to any god or any man except you, they should be thrown into the lion's den. Make this law so it cannot be changed, dear king. Now, Daniel did not help plan this new law. He knew nothing about it. The jealous men were lying. But King Darius did not know this and signed the law. He did enjoy being the most important person in the kingdom. The new law was announced that evening. Daniel heard the news along with everyone else, but he did not obey it. The next morning, Daniel prayed to God by his window open towards Jerusalem, just as he had always done before. That afternoon, he prayed again. At sunset, he prayed a third time. The other presidents and princes noticed him through his window and sprung their wicked plan into action. They hurried to the king. King Darius live forever, they cried. Then they questioned their king. Dear king, did you not just sign a decree that states a person who requests anything from God or another man shall be thrown into the lion's den? I did sign that law, and that law cannot be changed, the king certified. The presidents and princes dutifully reported their findings while hiding their glee. <laughs> Daniel, your first president, is not loyal to you, dear king. He has prayed three times to God today. King Darius was disturbed. He knew Daniel was a good man and an intelligent leader and was instantly sorry he had listened to his advisors for making such a ridiculous law. The king tried to think of ways he could save Daniel, but his advisors reminded him that the law could not be changed. King Darius realized there was nothing more he could do, so he ordered Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den. The king told Daniel how sorry he was. May the God you serve so faithfully rescue you from these vicious lions, Daniel. King Darius returned to his palace with a troubled heart and worried about his faithful friend all night. At dawn, the king rushed to the lion's den 
and anxiously called. Daniel, has your God saved you from the lions? The king listened, but heard only silence. Then, from deep inside the den, he heard a voice. King Darius, live forever! My God sent his angel, who closed the lions' mouths and did not harm me. God knew I had done no wrong. King Darius fell to his knees in relief and joy. He commanded his servants to pull Daniel out of the den and instead throw in the presidents and princes who had plotted against him. King Darius spread the news far and wide through the land. Peace be with you. I hereby proclaim that in every part of my kingdom, we shall fear and thank Daniel's God, for he is the living God forever and ever. By his power, he delivered Daniel from the lions. The end. Wow, every time I hear this story, I'm reminded how God makes all things possible. You know, having faith and living a life of truth will always win over lies. Uh, hey, Otto, you know, Daniel was a good man with a strong belief in God and truth, even though everyone he knew was against him. But he stayed true to who he was in the end, and he was proven right. You know, it's hard to stick by what you believe if others are against you, but it's always worth it. This was a good story, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you for watching Otto's Tales. Check out some of our other stories too. Keep reading, keep watching, and remember to live a life of faith. <laughs> you love doing that, don't you? Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.